There are several data structures that are used in travel demand models. It is useful to keep these in mind as they help us think about how the data fits together. There are four types of matrices, scalars, two types of vectors, and one full matrix. Scalar matrices are just a fancy name for a constant, which can be added or subtracted or multiplied or divided with all the cells in another matrix. For instance, the scalar might be the price of fuel. To estimate the total travel cost of fuel for all travelers, you might multiply all the cells in the trip distance matrix with all the cells in the trip table matrix with the scalar representing the average miles per gallon with another matrix representing the price of fuel. Origin vectors are just a column of data. Each cell is indexed by the Transportation Analysis Zone, or TAZ. An example might be the number of households in a zone, which of course is important to estimate the total number of trips a zone generates. Destination vectors are just a row of data, where again, each cell is indexed by the Transportation Analysis Zone. An example might be the number of jobs in a zone, which is also important to estimate the total number of trips a zone generates. We organize this data as rows instead of columns so we can interact it with the origin vectors to create full matrices. A full matrix has one cell for each origin destination pair. Examples are travel time and cost matrices as shown here the trip and the trip table. The trip table depends on the travel cost matrix, the origin trip vector, and the destination trip vector. We will discuss this further in Balancing a Matrix. To estimate the number of trips going from zone I to zone J for each purpose, we require travel time and cost between zones, the C, C sub I J, and the trips originating in or destined for each zone, T sub I and T sub J.